Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today I'm going to show you a really simple, easy way to clean your baseboards, dust your home, repel dust, and make your home smell amazing without having to bend over and clean your vents. If you have a larger home, I bet you have a ton of baseboards in your house. Even if you have a smaller home, there's too many baseboards to deal with. So there's only a couple things that you're gonna need. A warm bucket of water, a broom. This is the magic right here. And you're gonna need some good old fabric softener. If you don't like this, you can just use some really yummy smelling conditioner. My friend, a little goes a long way with this. I would also suggest getting a rubber band and some sort of old cloth. I like using a white one here. You can see I already put some fabric softener on there. I'll talk about that in just a second because we're gonna see how much dirt that we're gonna collect. Also, you can get in the vents really nicely. Drop that in there and since there's fabric softener on there, you can put the fabric softener directly on your cloth or you can just dump it in your warm water. I would suggest about a tablespoon that would be sufficient i can't wait to see how much grime we're gonna pick up right here and then i have a bonus tip here for you at the end oh my goodness this already smells so delicious can you smell this now the dryer sheet on the swiffer works great as well i do prefer this i do think when you have a slightly damp cloth it picks up more dust than a microfiber towel or a dry cloth Thumbs up if you can agree with that one. That is why we wash our vehicles rather than uh, just dust them down or use a damp cloth to clean the inside of your vehicles. It always works better than just a dry cloth. All right, you're gonna go along the edge. You can turn this broom this way, that way, anyway. That's the beauty of this. We can go ahead and get our vents. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me right here. You can turn it however you need to to get in all those nooks and crannies. Plus, my friend, ooh, look it, look it, look it. Oh, smelling good. Looking whiter and brighter. You probably cannot see all the grime in here. Let me get you in there real close. Okay, now the camera's picking it up. Look at that. See that? See that, my friend? Yes, they're real dirty right in there. Okay, let's go in with our broom. Again, one-handed. When you have two hands when you're doing this, it works much better. I'm gonna go two little rounds here because that's real dirty. Let's go back in there. That is looking much better, whiter and brighter. And then up here on this top ledge. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can you see that brown right there? That's just from that small section that I did. Mama needs to be cleaning her house a little bit more. Okay, here is a bonus tip for you. This works so well in the corners. I mean, how often are you actually gonna get up in these corners and clean in here but if you have a tool like this in a broom and something that smells amazing my friend you're more likely to do it uh more than once every five years okay this has just got me all excited now you can do anything with this you can clean inside the tracks and the fabric softener is going to help repel future grime the same reason that you put it on your clothing so that it does not stick together and it repels. I had to take this off for a second just so we could get a better look on those two little spots that we did. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I can imagine this whole thing's gonna be filled after I do my entire house. All right, my friend, let me know if you've tried this before. Give this video a thumbs up. Click this video on screen now to see some more amazing cleaning and life hacks. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.